welcome to my channel. My name is Gracie and today's video we're gonna be doing a hamster guide. So if you plan on getting a, a hamster eventually or you know someone who's getting a hamster, please watch this video throughout them, uh, throughout the whole thing. And if you know someone who's getting a hamster, I would suggest linking this video to them or sending the video to them so that way they're aware of things that are good for your hamsters, things that are not good for your hamsters, things that you should be supplying for your hamsters, and things that you shouldn't be supplying for your hamsters. I really hope that this video can make an impact on hamster care because I know so many hamsters get mistreated because a lot of people don't know these basic essentials and basic information that every hamster should know before anyone. Another, another, another thing I want to clarify. A YouTuber that I watched for a while now and that I've got and gathered most of this information from is Victoria Rachel and I suggest watching her channel because she is an inspirational queen and honestly where I learned most of my education on knowledge on hamsters and hamster care. She also has rabbits, cats, I believe she has a dog as well, um, and many hamsters so she Oh, I believe she has reptiles too. So if you want any like knowledge or information on any of the um, animals that she does have, she probably has videos on them. So definitely go check out her channel. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into today's video. So I made a little list as things that I want to cover throughout today's video. Um, so let's get started. The first thing I want to clarify is hamster balls and hamster cars. These things right here are actually very harmful for your animal. Um, and the reason is, is because if you put your hamster or this, basically this video is going to be covering dwarf hamsters, so smaller hamsters. Um, this is basically the only kind that I have most knowledge on. So if you have dwarf hamsters or smaller hamsters, this video is for you. Now, if you put your dwarf hamster in a hamster ball or a hamster car like this or any sort of hamster vehicle that's a, like supposed to be for hamsters, and if it's something that you could just lock them in and they can roll around in, it is very dangerous. And here's why. They can damage their spine while running around in this and you can never truly tell if your hamster enjoys being in it or if they're basically just being forced to be in it and run around and it's very harmful for them to arch their spine while running which is exactly the same thing that happens if you supply them with a smaller wheel like this they should have a big wheel um and it should definitely be like two times bigger than their size so i definitely recommend um not putting them in any of these hamster balls or hamster wheels they're just very harmful um, another thing is no wire. Now that we're talking on the like the wheel, now that we're talking about wheels, no wire or mesh wheels. I definitely or definitely 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 no flying saucers for smaller hamsters. And here's why: these wheels right here, the mesh and wire ones. This is mesh and this is wire. Not recommended for your hamster. These are also the flying saucer ones. And here's why: flying saucers dwarf hamsters and smaller hamsters overall are said to be able to fly off the flying saucers if they're going too fast and they need their exercise so clearly they're going to run fast so i definitely recommend not supplying them with flying saucers however the mesh ones the mesh and the wire wheels it's very hard for their paws to run on little bits of like imprinted material that can imprint on their paws and eventually cause a bumble foot. This is what bumble foot is and it's basically a blistering in hamster's feet and it's actually could get so bad that your hamster's foot might need to be amputated. So please do not supply them with mesh, uh, flying saucers, or um, wire wheels. Instead get them a silent wheel like this or a wodent wheel like this. Those ones are definitely recommended. Another thing is, no bathing hamsters. I know a lot of people are like, oh my god, but they're gonna get stinky, they're gonna start being smelly. If you can't handle a little bit of scent coming off of your hamster, you shouldn't be owning one in general because you cannot bathe them. Their, cur their, cur their coat has a lot of important oils that if you wash off, it can be very harmful for them because it's very hard for them to get those oils back into their skin and their fur. So please, instead of bathing hamsters, if you think they're getting a little bit dirty, supply them with a sand bath. And now sand baths look like this or like this and you can get you can pretty much just use any sand that doesn't have little bits inside of it like shells or rocks instead supply them with play sand that you can get like home depot lowe's any hardware store or you can order it online all right and another thing is talking about sand baths a lot of people can compute confuse sand baths for dust baths Dust baths are the bath that you would normally give to a chinchilla, and it's very harmful for your hamster to be breathing in dust particles, and it can eventually cause respiratory infections for your hamster. So do not give them dust baths, but in fact, give them sand baths. You can actually keep the sand bath in their cage too. If they need it, they'll use it. Um, another thing is for bedding, like the shavings that you put at the bottom of your um, hamster's caging, 
I recommend not putting pine or cedar or scented beddings. This is what pine bedding looks like. And this is what cedar bedding looks like. And this is what scented bedding looks like. This one is currently scented lavender. I would not recommend either of these three because they're very harmful for your animal and the toxins that they admit into the aroma of your hamster's cage and they're breathing that in, it can eventually cause respiratory infections as well and they're very sensitive. So do not give them these beddings. Instead, supply them with aspen bedding, unscented bedding, or paper-based bedding. You can even shred up little bits of paper, newspaper, or toilet paper. Um, and yeah, and another thing, talking about toilet paper, no cotton fluff in nesting. Nesting that looks like this, that's advertised like these, are very dangerous for your animal's paws, and here's why. If the fluff, basically they're like cotton balls, and if the little, um, I don't really know what they're called, but like the little uh, cotton like wiring gets wrapped around your hamster's limb. It can affect, like in fact numb it so much because it's cutting off its circulation that it'll make your hamster chew off its own limb because they can't feel it. So please do not supply them with cotton nesting. I know that their bedding may feel a little bit rough, but if you do feel like they need something soft in their cage, I recommend just putting a little bit of toilet paper in a corner of their cage. And if they do prefer that, then they'll just stay in that and you can just put it more around in their cage but please do not give them cotton based bedding. Um, another thing is no hamster leashes or harnesses that like this. These are very harmful for your animal's spine. Please do not walk your hamster. This is just, this is just common and this is just common sense. You shouldn't be putting your hamster on a leash. Who in the right mind puts their hamster on a leash? Like if, you, if you're gonna put your hamster on a leash, clearly you think of it more as a toy and you should not be owning a hamster. Please rehome it because you clearly are not capable of owning a hamster and you're not responsible enough to own your hamster if you think that it's just a toy that you can put on a leash and walk around. No. Anyways, got a little heated there, not gonna lie. Um, they need at least 450 square inches of space, so please do not supply them with cages that look like these critter tails that are so, like usually advertised at pet stores. Pet stores most of the time don't carry the proper needed cages, so instead of getting these, I recommend days before getting your hamster ordering a 40 gallon aquarium tank these are great for your hamster or if you want a cheaper option that's more affordable i recommend bin cages like this that you can get at a container store hardware store grocery store just make sure it's big enough it's clear and make sure you cut the middle of the lid off of the um, bin cage and you put some wire mesh on so that way there's air that circulates throughout it these are some examples of bin cages that are very um, affordable and these are examples of 40 gallon tank cages Another thing is, um, let's see, Only you only have to clean their cage once a month, but you should still be spot cleaning their cage, which means cleaning up any soiled bedding and refilling it and replenishing it. So you should be um, spot cleaning along the month, but do not have to, you don't have to like take out every bit of bedding and re-clean their cage for another month. Basically, you just have to clean their, like, clean their cage fully by taking out all the bedding, re um, supplying fresh bedding, only once a month. Another thing is, um, vegetables a lot of people think that because hamsters are so small they don't really need uh, their vitamins and all that from vegetables but that's very in fact untrue so please make sure you are giving your hamster fresh veggies and if you can't afford constantly getting veggies I recommend growing your own and it's very simple to do that one day when you do save up enough money to get a romaine lettuce like, like lettuce in general when you finish that romaine lettuce, once your hamster goes through it all, cut off the stem, aka the bottom of the lettuce, and put it in a mug of water and put it by a windowsill of sunlight. And eventually it'll grow so big. This is just after a couple days of being in here. You can see all that nice, fresh leafing going around the romaine lettuce stem that's in a cup of water. So yeah, I like to grow my guinea pigs fresh lettuce, but I'll also be using it for my hamster once I get her as well. I'm getting Eleanor on the 10th of May, so if you guys are interested in more hamster content, I'll be getting her then, but until then, I'll mostly just be showing my guinea pigs. So yeah, okay. That's pretty much all you need to know about hamster care. Those are just the basics. Again, I recommend watching Victoria Rachel or doing more in-depth um, research on your hamster before getting them. I hope that any of this did help because I know a lot of people kind of confuse some things for hamsters because they think they're so similar to other animals, but they're really not. Another thing I do want to clarify is please do not get them colored or dyed toys or chews like this. They're very harmful and they can dye their intestines. So please do not 
give them that instead just give them like wooden or chews or like paper towel rolls or anything just like that so yeah anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope this video was helpful to you guys if you guys are thinking about getting a hamster um any other uh, further information you need to know like eleanor's instagram or um other things will be in the description box below, so feel free to check that out. And if you have any questions or concerns, please leave them in the comment section down below, and I'll be sure to get back to as many people as I can. Thank you guys for watching. Feel free to give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on the post notifications bell so you get notified every single time I make a brand new video. Bye, guys!